What's going on guys, Nemesis here, welcome back to the channel, in today's video I'm going to be pushing some more mid ladder because I know you guys love the mid ladder series, so without further ado, please make sure to like and subscribe, let's get into it. We're going to be playing, you know, the regular, like, the Marcher Fireball variation, so yeah. Okay, so we got our first game here, <clears throat> this guy's level 11, uh, we're level 11, he's gonna go for a Goblin Hunt, he's gonna go for a Fireball, and this is already looking like a really off meta deck, oh my gosh, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go for E was high. And yeah, let's see what he wants to do here. So he's got Goblin Hut, Baby Dragon, three cards away from his next Goblin Hut, two cards away from his next Goblin Hut now. I'm gonna go for Bad Ramp to Kite. <clears throat> and let's see here. Uh, let's see what he wants to do. Maybe a Skeleton Army? Yes, he's got a Skeleton Army. Okay, now he's one card away from his Goblin Hut. And now he's back to it. So. That being said, he probably doesn't have a good answer, so when we kill this Valkyrie, we're probably going to pressure him just to force his Goblin Hut out immediately. Just to get it out the way, because I don't want to deal with it normally. So yeah. Uh, so we're going to go for a Ghost right there. Magic Archer for the HUD maybe. Okay, he's got a, he's got that. I'm going to go for a, uh, a Fireball for sure. And let's see here. I'm gonna go for a Magic Archer. Actually, I don't think this Magic Archer, uh, yeah, it doesn't kill in one shot. That's like the most unfortunate thing, but he probably doesn't have that much Elixir to begin with, so it's going to get some good damage. And I'm going to go for a Electro Wizard again on top. Just to hit everything, and we are uh, looking really good right now. He's gonna go for that. He doesn't have that much Elixir. He really shouldn't have played a Knight, because that was an overcommitment. Um, Okay, he's gonna go for that. My battle ram should get a connection anyway. Okay, he's gonna log. Okay, that's fair. I'm gonna go for a bandit on top of this knight. And let's see here. Maybe a Valkyrie. He shouldn't play skeleton army because, like, yeah. I was gonna say because if he played skeleton army, I would just zap it. <clears throat> I'm gonna play a ghost right here again. Uh, he really doesn't have a good answer for this. He's probably gonna have to play a witch again. I'm going to go for a fireball immediately. He's giving me good fireball value. I'll take it any day of the week. And as you can see, this is like all I'm doing. I'm just counting his cycle pretty much. Ooh, I just got a shot. I think I'm going to go for like a Bataram over here. I'm going to go for E was high. I'm going to go for a bandit over here. I'm going to go for another fireball because he's giving me more fireball value. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so he's got Knight. Yeah, let's see what he wants to do here. I think I'm just going to go for a Royal Ghost on top of all these Spear Goblins. Plus a Magic Archer in the middle, and that should basically be game. Okay, he's going to go for a Witch. So, yeah. Yeah, this is basically a game. He can't do anything anymore. Oh, that's pretty pretty unfortunate, but... Um, okay, yeah, so game number one is secured. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. Okay, so we got our next game here. Uh, we got Magic Archer, Ewis, Royal Ghost, and Battle Ram. This guy's a level 12 this time. Oh, and he has like a Goblin Barrel. And it's very high level, so it's going to be very difficult to beat. Because as you guys all know, I would say that Log Bait is definitely like the hardest matchup for P.E.K.K.A. when it's under or when it's over leveled. It's like definitely like the hardest to beat. Okay, this guy actually has an Ewis, so this makes things a little bit easier. Unless he has, like, guards as well, that'll be, like, even more difficult. Oh my gosh, look at this. This guy's just, like, selling out immediately. I have a zap as well, so if he wants to go for, like, a skeleton army, if he has it. Uh, I got the zap already. Okay. Uh, I think I wanna... Do I wanna pressure opposite lane? I don't think I do. Unless he plays something for this E-Wiz. Okay, he's just gonna eat the damage. I think that's actually the smart play, because if you want for a Valkyrie again... Because I'm pretty sure he's back to a Valkyrie because he played the Barrel, and then the next card he played was the Valk, so. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Um, I think I'm going to go for a Magic Archer in the back, just to play a little bit passively right now. Um, if I went for, like, a Magic Archer at the bridge to get some damage, he'll just e with it. So, yeah. And then I think at this point, I'm going to let this thing cross the river, and then I'm going to play my guess. Oh my gosh, look at this weird deck. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Pekka all the way in the back. Oh, that was not the greatest of E-Wizzes. He should have, like, played it behind his Pekka. And now he's down, like, another four elixir, so... And if he goes for, like... 
Oh, wow. Okay, um, I'm immediately just gonna go for a Battle Ram. He doesn't have that much Elixir, and the reason why I'm going opposite lane here is because, uh, if when it goes to a two tower game, I want to have the upper hand for that situation, so yeah, that's why I'm going that lane. Uh, there's really nothing I can cycle in that. I'm gonna go for a Magic Archer down in the back here. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go for like a Bandit, and then I'm gonna go for like a Peck at the Bridge. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Peck at the Bridge. Uh, let's see what he wants to do. Okay, he's gonna do that. If he goes for like a E Wiz or something, I'm probably just. He's probably gonna go Valk, yeah, he's gonna go Valk for sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost now. I'm not, I'm not gonna use the E-Wiz, because I know I need it for his balloon. There it is. I'm gonna go for this, I'm gonna go for that, I'm gonna go for this thing right here. I'm gonna go for a Zap, because I know he doesn't have a Skeleton Army. He just, like... I'm gonna go for Bandit for his E-Wiz, if he has it. There it is. Just a DPS set down real quick. Magic Archer should lock on as well, and that doesn't matter anyway. So, yeah. That's going to be game number two. <clears throat> and let's go for the next one. Okay, so we got our next game here, and let's see here, we got Battle Ram, Fireball, Royal Ghost, and Electro Wizard. Let's see what he wants to do, he's gonna go for a Hog Rider, I'm gonna go for a uh, Royal Ghost plus Ewis. It's kind of unfortunate that my Royal Ghost is so under leveled, and same with my tower, so like, that interaction normally makes the Hog Rider not get any damage, but, yeah, I'm gonna go for a Peck on top of this Mega Knight. And so he's got Hog Mega Knight. Interesting, interesting. Maybe he's Inferno Dragon with this deck as well, I would I would assume. Uh let's see here. He's gonna go for a log. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go for my Okay, he's got that. I think I'm gonna go for my Magic Archer in the back. Hopefully that gets a shot. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna go for my Battle Ram because I know I have a pretty good elixir advantage. He might have a Valkyrie as well. I'm gonna go for a fireball just because, like I said, I know I have a big elixir advantage. Uh, let's see what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna go for like a a ghost. I think I'm gonna go for a ghost. The reason I'm going for a ghost is because if he has a hog rider, my bandit's level 14 as opposed to the level 12 ghost. So um, his hog should get no shots anymore if he goes for a hog rider. There it is. So that should get no damage. I'm pretty sure, unless he plays something for it. Yeah. He's probably gonna go for a mega knight now. Yeah, there it is. If he goes for like bats, which I'm going to assume probably, I'll just I'll just zap it or something. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, there's the bats. I'm going to zap immediately because I don't want that uh, those bats to get too much value on top of my Pekka. I wanted to have some HP left to counter push, but he went for a really nice firecracker. Um, I don't really agree with that Valkyrie at all because I just, I could just ghost opposite lane now. Now he doesn't have like a mini tank. Yeah. Really good for us. I think I want to go for a Magic Archer in the back, opposite lane, so I don't give him too much like spell value. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again. He's gonna go for another uh, Mega Knight probably. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare myself. If he goes for a okay, he's gonna go for a uh, Firecracker opposite lane, which is super 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 nice for us. Uh, I'm gonna go like this to kite. I don't know why I said super so many times. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost over here because he doesn't have a um, uh, mini tank again. I'm gonna, yep, do that. Um, let's see, and that's basically game again. I'm gonna hover my bandit again, and that should be game number three. Let's go ahead and jump to the final game. Okay, so we got our next game here against Cappy. Uh, we got Ewis, Fireball, Zap, and Pekka. Uh, I'm just going to take the Fireball on that. I don't want to cycle anything. I don't have like a Bandit or Ghost to cycle something on that. I don't want to cycle an Ewis as well because I think Ewis is pretty important. So, especially if he has like a Balloon deck, because like, like I honestly have no clue what people play down here, so it could be super random. Okay, he's going to do that. I think I'm going to go for like. Huh. I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost here, and I'm gonna immediately just like actually like a oh my gosh, 
Wow. Okay, well, he has no elixir, but still, that was absolutely insane. Hopefully, he doesn't have, like, a Valk. That would be so bad. But yeah, he doesn't have any elixir, so yeah. And what I'm going to do here is because he might play something for this. Uh, at least I know he has a um, clone now. Which is pretty scary. I think I'm going to go for Magic Archer in the back here. I think this is the correct play, so I'll go for Magic Archer in the back. I'm just going to eat that damage. I don't really care about the tower anymore. I'm going to go for a bandit right here now. Let's see what he wants to do for this. Okay, he's going to do that. I think I'm honestly just going to go for a, a P.E.K.K.A. in front of this. He has, like, probably nothing good for this at all, and he's probably low on Elixir, I would like to say. So, yeah, he's going to go for a Log. He's three cards away from Skeleton Army. Okay, now he's two cards away. And now he's one card away. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be Tower. <clears throat> uh, let's see what I want to do here. Probably go for, like, a Royal Ghost, same lane of the Firecracker. He's probably going to do his clone thing again. I'm kind of surprised that that Firecracker won in the other lane. Well, it kind of looks like it was opposite. And, yeah. I know he's back to Skeleton Army, but I'm going to pressure up now because I have the Zapping Cycle for it. And let's see here. I'm going to just keep pressuring. Okay, perfect. And um, I think that should be game. Yeah, that is going to be game number four. Uh, really solid push right there. Uh, let's see here. Actually, let's go for another game. Let's go for another game. Okay, so we got our final game here against Crazy Boy. Uh, we got Battle Ram, Royal Ghost, Fireball, and Magic Archer. Oh my gosh, he's going to go for the the crazy E Barb's first play at the bridge. Super super skilled, man. Super skilled. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna get a really nice battle ramp connection right there. And uh going to take like half his tower, or like over half his tower. Uh, I think what I want to do here is I'm gonna go for Royal Ghost down low. Okay, he's got Golem. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a peck in the back. Play a bit passively right now. And yeah, we're chilling here. We're chilling. Oh, he's got a Witch. This is not good at all. I do not want to play against a Golem Witch deck. Especially because I just use Magic Archer, so... I'm going to go for my Electro Wizard here. I'm going to have to wait a little bit for this next set of Skeletons. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that was like the best thing we could have done, honestly. If he goes for like a uh, e barb at the bridge again, we're going to have to do the same thing. But I think this time we're going to have to like switch up our uh, style because I, I feel like I got to save Magic Archer for the next time. Mm. I think I want to go for like this and I'm going to go for like a... Um... He might have to play like archers for this, so it just, it's totally fine. I think I'm going to go for like... Wow, this is actually going to be really difficult. I think I'm going to peck a little bit higher just to DPS this thing down as quick as I can. And then I'm probably going to play an E with high just to stun this thing. Oh, he's got archers, doesn't he? That's kind of unfortunate. I, I think that was a bit of a misplay. Yeah. I'm going to go for a magic archer all the way out here. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go for a... I'm gonna go for this, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for a battle on opposite lane. I'm just going to go for a bandit. Uh... Yes, let's go. Okay, I'm just going to defend now for my left side. Oh my gosh, I think we won this. I'm just gonna go for a Magic Archer. Lightning obviously doesn't do like 636 damage. We're just gonna peck a high and then we're just gonna E-Wiz. He doesn't have archers anymore, so I could play my E-Wiz high again. And yeah. That's going to be game number, I think that's game number five, I, I, wanna, I wanna say. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. So yeah, that was a really solid push right there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll do more videos in the future.